Hi, I'm Margaret, and welcome to Garden School. Well, today I'm going to a bridal shower that's going to be a tea party and I was asked to bring a bouquet. Now, I happen to know that the color theme is going to be pink and I was looking around, I don't have a lot of pink blooming in my garden right now. Um, but as I walked around and I looked at some options, I found I do have some things that have some underlying pink tone but also have some uh, color interest, some texture interest, and they're not necessarily plants in the flowering stage. So let's take a look at what I found. So as I started my walk around to collect some flowers, I noticed that I've got a lot of dark purple going on here. I have some red, some orange, some uh, bloomed out kind of. But then I thought, oh, I have this nice white yarrow. That's a good thing. Um, it's a good basic thing. And then I used some of these uh, bl uh, bud stage of the Dusty Miller. That is going to be a nice point of interest as well. well. Let's see what else we could find. Okay, this Tony Aster that has volunteered itself a lot of places in my yard has a really cool little tiny pink flowering stage. Oh, well, that's nice. This is before the berries are developing or as they're developing. I could add that and it's got some nice uh, foliage in there as well. Great. I'll use that. My little columbines were kind of past their prime, but I did find a few that were still going to be okay. And that's a nice pinkish color. That'll be good. This white foxglove will be okay. Um, it's nice to have that white one at this time of year. And I'll just use the shorter stems, even though the seeds are developing on there, that'll still be okay. It's kind of a textural interest as well in a bouquet. Well, here I've got some uh, rambler roses or shrub roses. And uh, while they look really nice and provide lots of interest in the yard, they're kind of difficult in a bouquet because in the inflorescence, there's so many different stages of the flower. You've got a bloomed out flower with the petals dropping, a wide open flower. That's really pretty, but it's not gonna last very long. And then you've got tight buds and semi-open buds. But I was able to find a few and just cut out the, um, that had lots of buds on them or just barely open flowers. And then I just snipped off the, the spent one. Um, so I could use that in my okay oh this lamb's ear flowering stalk that would be a nice addition too and this viburnum while it has some really dark pink buds that are opening i was able to find some that were a little bit lighter pink and even this greenish with the pink undertone is kind of a nice thing to add and a texture as well and then also this verbascum here's one here that is a nice thing to add into the bouquet Okay, it's not a flower, but it does provide some textural interest and it does have a slight pink undertone to it. And this is the uh, spent blooms on some geranium. And even though there's a little bit of yellow undertone in that, I did add some parsley seed heads. They're just about to open up to bloom. And then the flowering buds of the Nandina, the heavenly bamboo, that could be a really nice thing. And it adds a lot of structure as well because the stems are nice and stiff. It's a nice creamy white one. Oh, and here's one with a nice pink tone to it. Well, as much as I hate to cut these because I love those orange berries as they get produced, I think I can spare a couple of those. And then, of course, I had to add some love in a mist perfect for a bridal shower. And look how cool the seed pods look. What a neat thing to add as a point of interest in a bouquet. Well, I'm kind of surprised at all the things that I did find to fit in a vase 
that was supposed to have a pink theme to it. Let's go take a look at it. Well, you might not call this a pink bouquet, but I do think that it has some pink undertones to it. Thank you, Columbine, for that. <laughs> and those other items. But I think I love how silvery and white it is. And what a neat thing for celebrating um, upcoming wedding and celebrating the bride. Well, I better get going <laughs> to the bridal shower tea party. Well, I, I hope you can have fun going outside and finding some things that aren't typically thought of as putting in a bouquet. Make it yours and enjoy that. There's always more to learn in the garden. Bye-bye.